Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Weekend asshole consulting. Because Cappy ain't gonna have what happened to him two weeks ago where all of a sudden there was a billion requests. Dear asshole, I'm currently 22 years old, studying electrical engineering at community college and plan to transfer in one semester to a cheap accredited state university in California. I have zero debt. I come from an East Indian background. I currently work remote as a sales rep and trainer. Why just sell lead generation system and make 700 to 1500 per sale? After watching I owe my success to e evil people, I understand now that my family is corrupt and never gave a damn about my life. I learned that my family only cares about their way of life and not my way of life. I, I gotta ask, not, not you, <clears throat> why they move here. I, I always got a kick out of that, particularly in the East Indian community, but other communities as well. You know, you come to the United States, your, your country is like obviously not satisfactory, it's a shithole or just not good enough, then you come here to the United States, we're going to keep doing away the things we did in the shithole. By God. <laughs> and then the poor kids are sandwiched in the middle because you're not in India. You're not in Tehran. You're not in uh, Djibouti. You're in the United States. And then your parents are like, we're going to raise you. It's like, no, why'd you leave? If you want, you want to be raised by X culture, then maybe you should have stayed there. Uh, so I, I do have a little bit of uh, <coughs> sympathy um, for you uh, first-generation American kids. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I learned quickly that my family is tracking my movement by stalking me on Facebook, contacting my past friends, starting fake conversations in order to make me talk and follow me wherever I go. My gut instinct is telling need to get out of the house and move on with my life because my family are going to screw me over. I don't know if they're going to screw you over or they're just super controlling as per standard Asian families, um, <clears throat> they know better and to a crippling level that, uh, well, we had the, the story of the kid from Tehran. He was from Iran. And um, <clears throat> he he's in the United States. Family's paying for everything. He was, he's going to become a doctor. And he just couldn't do blood, man. He just couldn't do it. And he says, well, I'm going to switch to chemical engineering. And the family freaking disowned him. They left, they abandoned him in the United States. He was living out of his SUV that his parents bought him. Um, that's what I'm more worried about, where they love the culture more than they do their children. And um, that, this, this sounds very familiar. Not not my personal life, I've seen it before. Uh, now as the behavior is becoming more sneaky and quiet around me. With this in mind, I learned to put myself always first before others. Good. My question with these questions below is the best about my current situation. First, I can work to get about two to three sales a week where I would have enough money to live on my own. Second, join the military to get away from my family and get money to pay for my degree and have a career. If I choose the Air Force, I choose to become a cyberspace operations officer. Join or join the Army to become an engineering officer. Third, I intend to leave home to go to Silicon Valley, which is two hours away, in order to learn and work on a cybersecurity. No, you're not going to do that. You, you, you need your education. Before. You just don't walk into... Unless you had taught yourself and you're very proficient at some kind of language or some other computer skill, you just don't walk into Silicon Valley. If for any other reason, the living expenses are prohibitive. Um, the... Four... I, I go find me a successful multimillionaire mentor and study on him as to gain his skill sets. No, that's not going to happen either. Millionaires aren't going to waste their time with you. You just don't walk in. I mean, you have delusional expectations here. Here you got to scale it back and get back into the real world. There's just not millionaires walking around, hey, I'll take you under my wing, kid. They're usually too fucking busy working. Uh, that's how they made their multi-millions. Please evaluate my options on which might be the best option in your opinion will be greatly appreciated. Uh, greatly appreciated. Um, so I said, how much are you making per year? And it boils down to 78 grand a year. Now, if that's remote, um, you can, you got some options here. Before I was add you in the military, blah, 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 get your degree in engineering on the GI Bill or while you're in. Uh, but that's not something to shake a stick at 78 grand. You know, in uh, Silicon Valley, that's a joke. That's minimum wage. But if it's that bad at home and you're making $78,000 and you can do it from wherever, dude, I would be, you know, you can move to someplace that's cheaper, nicer, lower tax, more fun. 
Uh, again, it's the, this is the most underutilized book. I, I don't know why I wrote it. Guys, get this fucking book, please. I, you need to read this. I'm not going to go into more details. It's just, you know, it's going to tell you where to go with the lift. Since you have the enviable position of having your income generated remotely, you could go anywhere you want in the United States. Um, so what I would do, it, it's kind of none of the above. I like your first two. Um, first, two city, make live on your own. Second, join the military, get away from family and get money and pay for a degree and have a career. Um... You can already leave your family with the money you make, and you make enough money that um, <clears throat> you don't have to go back to school or college. I'm not saying you shouldn't continue your studies, but I would be. Uh, you already make a 78 grand a year. That's more than an electrical engineer is going to make fresh out of college, and maybe you milk this cow until it's it's all said and done. So here's what I'm going to recommend you do. <clears throat> I recommend you go and do reconnaissance. You make enough money. That what I I would just go and travel the United States, grab your laptop, get a decent car, um, and just pick up and go wherever you want, man. I would probably it's summer coming up. If you can, maybe find a dirt cheap place to rent, just a place to rest rest your head and get um, get uh, some internet. But I would HQ out of Denver. And keep in mind, you're not going to be there that long. That might be too far east. Maybe you could also try Salt Lake City. <clears throat> uh, Vegas is going to get too hot in, in spring. You're not going to want to be there. But I would just go and be a vagabond. Uh, where you, you guys, like me, okay, I got to stay at a certain place for a certain while to get my work done, make my sales calls. I got to get my work done. But then I go out and I explore and, 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 and adventure. Um, so what I would do is, if there's a place you want to go in the United States and check it out, get yourself a car, a good reliable one, get yourself a set of tools so you can repair it. Maybe even <clears throat> one of those Aztecs, if you remember them, they used to be, Pontiac made those, I don't know if they're around anymore. But a car that you could sleep in, like a hatchback, something, I don't know how tall you are. But that's what I would be doing. If I had 78 grand a year and I could make it remotely, I'd just be driving around the country figuring out where I want to live. If you don't know why, if that doesn't sound appetizing, again, I'm going to tell you to go read this damn book. And then, once you've traveled the United States and you're making your money, you should be able to even save a fair amount of money, too, while you're doing this. Yes, I would drop out of college. I would, I would go to school online, still accredited, keep continuing to get your, your credits. Um, Take just a year off, man, is what I would do, or at least this summer. You know, at least this summer, go and travel to the, the, the United States. <clears throat> and then that will give you <clears throat> a perspective. Um, and then I would not move back home. No, you make enough money now, you don't have to live at home. Uh, so after you've done your traveling, at least this summer, if you still want to be down in Silicon Valley or California, I'm fine. I mean, it's going to be expensive. But I would attend your community college, go to a four-year institution. Um, if your travels made you find, oh my God, I love Dallas. I don't know why you'd go to Dallas. Let's say you ended up going to Dallas. Oh, I love Dallas. Well, then I would move to Dallas. I get residency in Dallas. And then I would take the occasional class online or through the local community college until you get in-state tuition. And I'd finish your electrical engineering degree in Dallas. Um, but here comes the curveball with the military. Assuming you go out and travel around, you continue working your sales job. Um, and I think that's the number one. I would just keep working your sales job. Find out where you want to live in the United States. Gain residency there. Continue to explore and have fun. Continue to enjoy. You're not going to get this opportunity again where you make almost 80 grand a year and it's remote. All right? uh, you find a place that you like. Oh, gosh, I really like this. You HQ out of there. You still travel. You're not terribly anchored to that place. <clears throat> And then when sales start to dry up, then when they, oh, we got to have you come in and sit here in Seattle, wherever the hell the company's HQ'd, then you start looking at the military and going back to college. This entire time, you could be going to college online or knocking out your prereqs or whatever else. If you're still in community college and now you're looking to transfer, I'm sure um, <clears throat> it's uh, you're not there yet in your junior or senior year. But then I would find an accredited institution, not in California, uh, that you could finish off your electrical engineering degree, 
once these sales start to go away. And I know you want to get your degree, dude. I know, I know, I gotta get my degree. I gotta go to college. I gotta go to college. Dude, the point of going to college is to make the money you're making now. You're making that money now. There's no reason to go to college until that money goes away. Then down the road, <clears throat> not to say don't pursue your degree part time, <clears throat> not to say to keep pursuing towards it, but you don't need your degree now, if, especially if you're making this kind of money. I would keep doing that. Uh, but you would like to inevitably move towards your degree so that when this gravy train runs out, now you're, you're only a year away or a semester away from your electrical engineering degree. Now, the second thing I would do, the curveball with the military, which I like. The reason I also want you to travel around is so that you can join the National Guard in a respective state that you like. If you join the National Guard now, you're stuck in California. And that's better than having, yeah, move out. You can afford it. If you want to stay in California, then I'd keep doing your sales and I'd join the reserves. And between those two sources of income, you'd be able uh, to easily support yourself uh, somewhere near a, a, an accredited four-year institution in California. Hopefully it's cheaper than, God, I mean, Silicon Valley. Just You, you can move anywhere in California. You'll still get that in-state tuition. You'll still make your money. You still could join the reserves. Um, but I, I wouldn't be going, what, San Jose State, wherever the hell it is. Stanford, Stanford is a private school, isn't it? Whatever, you just, you want to go to where it's cheap and living expenses are not insane. <clears throat> Which you should be, there should be a place in California somewhere you could do that. Um, but whether you decide to stay in California and continue to work your job and move out of your folks place and join the reserves there, or you've done some vagabonding and exploring and you found, oh my God, do I love Utah, and now you're in Salt Lake City. Once you've get established residency, you've figured out that you want to stay there, <clears throat> then I would join the reserves, or Air, I'm sorry, Air National Guard, Air National Guard, if you want to go into the Air Force, Air National Guard. And that will allow you to continue to work your sales. That will allow you to continue to go to school. You'll be part of the military, and then that option is now open for you if you want to pursue a career in the Air Force. And then if the sales went away, you could go full-time Air Force, whether it's full-time or National Guard. Um, you're going to be uh, you're going to have some kind of tuition reimbursement, making your electrical engineering degree more affordable. <clears throat> but it gets you out of the house. It gives you an option for the military. It gets you out of California, or unless you wanted to stay in California, and allows you to pursue your electrical engineering degree. The key thing is, I know, dude, I fucking know you 22-year-olds, Especially you age, I gotta get a degree, I gotta get it. No, no you don't, especially you. You don't need to get a degree. You do not need to get a degree. You make as much as an electrical engineer, more certainly starting, okay? I'm not saying don't never get your degree in electrical engineering, but dude, you're a great salesman. You're making great damn money. That's the reason you would go to get a degree in engineering or any legitimate degree. And now you don't have to. You should rejoice and avail and capitalize on that opportunity, especially the fact it's location independent, which is again why I recommend you do reconnaissance first. So that's what I would do. <clears throat> I would pick up your fucking shit, get a car and go. This summer. Just go. Travel. Go. Preferably a vehicle that maybe you could sleep in, throw a mattress in there, some sleeping bags. Grab your laptop, your thing, as whatever you need to do your job from the road, and go. Um, I'd recommend starting to go north because it's going to get a little hot down there in Vegas, Southern California, Phoenix. You can do that during winter. You don't want to be in Phoenix in summer. Um, but all the northern states, uh, you know, sure, Oregon, Washington, if you like leftists. But I'd be looking more like Idaho, Glacier National. That'd be nice. Uh, Colorado, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. You just can't. Um, that's what I would do and explore the country, figure out where you want to be first, and then go from there. And hopefully your sales job will continue on. You'll continue making almost 80 grand a year. Um, you'll find out where you want to be. It won't just be, I'm moving out of the house three blocks away from my folks, and your folks are still going to harass you. Um, if you do it right, you're going to postpone. Your opportunities now are making money now and exploring the country now, and you will not regret that. The engineering degree could come later. And if you do decide inevitably where you want to settle, and you're still making cash and bank uh, on your sales job, join the Air National Guard. That goes away, fine. Then join the military full-time, and then they'll take care of everything for you. You're just going to have to stick around three to seven years or whatever. Um, but no, you're not just going to waltz into Silicon Valley. Oh, hey, give me a job. Hey, are you a millionaire? Can you help me? Mm -mm, nope. 
I'm not even a millionaire. I charge you for, for advice like this. A multi-millionaire is going to be a kid. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> so, all right, there you go. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. I'll see you kids later. Toodles.